This will be the exciting cold open. Hello and Merry Christmas. Welcome to the podcast for Yu-Gi-Oh! Cowboy for Games, something something. I'm your host Jake. I change things and fuck me. Uh, <laughs> I'm here with Logan from Snake Rat. What was that? That was me talking. <laughs> And Ben from Nolan TCG. He stole the the intro from the other video yeah. that's already gone. Up I on the had channel this plan the second that we knew that the ban list was out today. I didn't even see yours till lunchtime. He's been plugging this for weeks. Yeah, this Plug has it. been my thing. It, it's been what crazy. being wrong? No, being Christmas. I'm always right. You, except you aren't. What do you it's mean? Christmas today. Isn't it's it? snowing outside. Give me my present. His presence <laughs> is your present. I don't give you presents. Yeah. That's not what I do. That's not true. You give me shoes all the time. Yeah, but. Anyway. On the 25th of December, I didn't give you presents. You give me presents. I did. I gave you the Book of Mormon. Remember? It's my birthday. <laughs> the Book of Mormon. Anyway. It's my birthday. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Logan. Good chat. Ben. So, I'm not in my existential crisis of being nice <laughs> in Yu-Gi-Oh anymore because I'm now just like, fuck it. We moved past that. We're now in just like, fucking let the world burn. My anyway, current anyway. existential crisis is I don't know if I enjoy playing the game at the moment. Like, I'm not like excited to go to locals. I think that's a bit to do with like kind of the rest of the things that are going on in my life at the moment, but I'm just kind of like I don't know. I'm not like excited to go to locals. I'm excited to see friends. And I'm excited to do things with people. Mm. But I'm not excited to be like, I'm going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, like I'm really keen to go to the regionals and stuff we're going to be making some trips if you're at Maryland if you're at Canberra let's go I'm going to see you there but yeah I'm just kind of like in a state where I'm not excited to play Yu-Gi-Oh is it perhaps your deck choices no it's not my deck choices right is pretty boring it, it could be the fact that I do feel pressured to play something that will win but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I think the regional it's... stuff, yeah, obviously you want to play stuff to win, but when you're at locals, like, you don't care about the OTS, so it's not a huge draw card. Yeah. It's obviously nice to get store credit and yeah. potentially get stuff to pull. So just play something fun. Like, if, if the current decks that you're playing aren't giving you joy, play something else. Yeah, well, that was really good for you, Jay. Could play, could play Dragon Maid. I could make that work. <coughs> Who knows? With Hopefully the ban list might get me being a bit more creative. <laughs> like, I would traditionally... Sorry. Creative in some sense, like this substitute. I, we could, we'll get that. But spoilers no, for later. Yeah, you're. Sh- um, <laughs> yeah, like I'm sure there's things that I could sit down and be creative with. But I guess like in the past when we've had ban lists, like I've had time that day to like really engage with the game and like mess around. But like this one's dropped like midweek, and I'm like, I got work all week, man. It's gonna be a weekend. I got I got a busy weekend planned. I'm just like, yeah, not not sitting here being like, yeah, let's go. Well, the good thing is you've got like six days where other people can work on it, and then by the time you're back at locals, yeah, it's just so that defeats the purpose, right? Because then you There's, you want to be the one who well, you make you make tech choices of your own. No one yeah. like we've said this on the channel multiple times. Like, if you yeah, just you take a list from someone else, whether it be a regional club, whether it be something you just see on like a random profile, it'll never never work exactly the way it's supposed to at locals because you're versing different players and all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, um, to sum up your point, I think playing something different I've just had an idea for something I want to try and break <laughs> what if I try and build six samurai frog exodia oh god you I could, that do could that. work I don't know why you would but you could you so use your turbo through a little bit of your deck you do your standard six samurai combo you set up the loop you substitute you keep tributing the keys as they summon flooding the board try and do whatever you need to do with that to thin the deck so there's only like ten cards left in deck and then you go so use your add exodia pieces so use your add exodia pieces game yeah, you can do that, and then you can use your keys on to make an emerald from back your side users. Yeah, to keep going through. Yes, that probably works. I'm gonna try and fuck around with that. You would need to have four cards in hand by the time you're starting to loop the side user, because you need to go five. Well, you once you seven, do eight. the loop, you add every six samurai card in your deck to your hand. Oh yeah, so you have like, yeah. yeah you, you, at this fine. point, you have like a fifteen card hand. Yeah, you're fine then. Um, I did pause for a dramatic effect to try and be funny, but I remembered that I won locals. On Monday, so my week in Yu-Gi-Oh was great. Like, how many people were there on Monday? Andrew wasn't there; it doesn't count. Yeah, true. Yeah, but that's good. I won locals. I played a monkey deck. Remember, I played bad deck. I played. This Hero is Link. last Monday, by the way. Oh, last Monday. Yeah, he wasn't allowed on the podcast last week. Yeah, why well, weren't here? I don't know. You were here. 
Jake, how was your weekend, Nico? Uh, my week was okay. Um, played on Sunday. Uh, it was, again, low turnout just because the um, the bike race that was here in Wollongong kind of just stuffed everyone around. Stuffed that bike race. Ugh, I'm glad it's over. Did I um, but did I fairly miserable. Yeah, you know, you went there. Uh, couldn't play Monday. Had some family stuff going on, so couldn't go Monday. Uh, played tonight. Ended up in the finals. Um, so, what were my matches? I versed uh, Bragg in a mirror. Um, that's literally the first time he's picked up the deck and played it, and he's he not fine enough. He did okay. Um, like I think he was still ended up X one or X two, so it's yeah. a reasonable outing for your first time. And that deck does take some time to work out the lines of play where I to do right. certain I things. Shit on. Yeah, I heard this. <coughs> we he flicked, right? Yeah, he flicked on ending nightmare, and I was like, my entire hand loses the unending nightmare. Why would he play unending nightmare again? My entire hand lost the unending nightmare. It makes sense because it means that you're not losing to mine, you're not losing yeah. to Necro Valley, Again, you're not losing advanced, to Anti Spell at some point. Adventure, Field Spell, Sprite, it just, yeah, outs your entire deck. Oh, true, yeah, you true. rely yeah. so much on continuous Everything. Yeah, Everything, yeah. Everything you need to give you, like, momentum remains face up on the field. Mm. Yeah, okay, interesting. Shouldn't have said that. We got a big tournament on the weekend, Jake's gonna fuck me. Jake's gonna fuck me. Oh, yeah, we'll be there. For some reason, I had it in my head. It was the Saturday originals. I'm like, I want to. It's not on the Jake today. <laughs> it's actually um, all fake. Eh? He's not gonna play that deck. <laughs> what else were my matches today? Oh, versus Jesse. Uh, he was playing uh, Sub Terra Goon. Oh, on the subject of Jesse. Uh, Jesse, yeah. I, after I saw you come out, I was like, yeah, I'm just a fucking idiot. Don't worry. Just the thing between me and Jesse. Cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, that matchup was relatively simple. Uh, the deck just does, has like two things it does. If it doesn't open enough back row, it does nothing. Yeah. And then uh, flew in the finals. Uh, just didn't see enough interaction. I made one uh, mistake in my plays. I should have shuffled back the M pen so that my face up monsters could actually do stuff. Feel but like I we've had this conversation field. before. Doing a flame. Yeah, probably chat. two minutes ago when we. No, no and then like then. I feel like we've gone through this exact scenario on. The podcast before where you've gone i missed playing against thunder in the finals because i didn't wear the m pen yeah and no so, i just don't the idea of me putting that stuff back in when it's so easily searchable mm. pains me yeah that's fair. but i should have thought about it longer oh well um <laughs> and too yeah, long, i just never opened enough interactions when like i side in um like and yeah, I didn't open nearly well enough to get any of my sideboard cards on the board. <laughs> yep. Don't worry. Um yeah. Disappointing, but again, not much I could do. Um and then Master Duel, um, which I'll do very quickly. Uh, the Synchro Thieves Festival's underway at the moment. I was gonna play Sword Soul, ended up playing Time Thieves. It's really fun, but not very good. Master Duel sucks. You can oh, say what you like. I agree. I played Lona Pendulum. Is that any good? No. No, I didn't think it would be. I'm just playing raw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. I've run the numbers. Must do something. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> no, something story. to do with health being banned ruins something that I was going to do. The Six Samurai combo? No, it doesn't ruin the Six Samurai combo. It ruins one of my Six Samurai combos. Damn, now you have to make a whole new video on Six Samurai to fix it. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. New ban list, new Six Sam combo. It actually legitimately changes the Six Sam. Because you were, you were using Hulk. You don't need to sell us, Ben. You can make no, the video. It's you fine. You Hulking off a tuna God to damn. summon the level one from deck. Yeah, she can And then up. you go, yeah, and then you were going from there. Why am I encouraging this conversation? I don't know. God, I don't damn. know why you opened this oh, up. Look, that's, that's you want to play to make Sheen Squire summonable. Because you summon the other six samurai tuna. You can just search it off the fucking gateway. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. It's the whole point of that card. No, you can't like summon it though. You don't have a way to actually access the card. Oh, uh, you add it to hand. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So it, no. So also, you can't search it. You can reborn it. it gateway reborn. adds a six samurai. It reborns. You reborn the Shian. Shian Squire. So is there a way to dump it? Curious. Could you curious come? No, they're all warriors. Mm. Look. The way you did it was you summoned the six samurai tuna. You made a Hulk with your Sayuya. You summoned from deck the other the Sheen Squire, and yeah. then you go off from there. It's not a tuna. It's alright. There'll be other ways to tuna. Anyway, um, as was alluded to at the start of the podcast, <coughs> the ban list is here um, as it is Christmas. What? 
Ah. Yes, we have to wear helmets. Um, Please don't be for you, mate. <laughs> Um, so effective as of the 3rd of October, which is this coming Monday, we have the following, uh, <coughs> forbidden fairy tale snow. We knew this was going to happen. Uh, this was obvious. It was going to happen. Yeah. Ronan toted. This was not fucking <laughs> obvious. <laughs> it really wasn't. Um, uh, okay. So I'm going on a rant right fucking now. Right, Cause okay, this, this it. weighed on me the more the day went on. Do I take the hat off? So you can't no. <laughs> Ronan Toden gets hit. That whole frog line in Sprite gets hit after we've had the deck for a month and a half. Something that fundamentally is required for that deck to be top tier, gone. To Relevant, the arguably better deck now and long term, loses one flippy boy. That flippy boy's pretty good though. One flippy boy. It makes like the whole to Relevant no, combo completely different. It just makes it immune to Zeus. Yeah, or Dark Roar. Or Super Folly. No. No. Why? That's, I, that's only giving you a disruption after those cards are activated. I agree that this is a bigger hit for Sprite than it is for Tyrion. It's think, significantly like, bigger. Snow, and a month and a half after we get the deck. The danger tier builds will change dramatically because of that tier build. No. Like, it will definitely. No. You won't You won't curious for Snow. Like You have to curious for like... You'll main deck the trap, a trap now to Griffin combo. To like Griffin combo and the boy. I feel like this is no different. I feel like that deck's still tier one. Oh, yeah, if probably. not, I think it's now tier zero. I don't think that Tyr- uh, for three, for three I don't weeks. think it's nearly that powerful. It's tier zero no, no. because there's no control for three weeks. Then I don't think down. that there is a deck that can compete with this deck anymore. By Steve? No. Mind decks? That's it. We'll get there. <laughs> it's, are you playing Mystic That's, Mind? Well, yeah. There you go. It'll be... Us, us, but, us, 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 us. Yeah. That's just my rant about Ronan Toden, or just the wrong package ever got hit in general. Ronan Toden deserved it. No way. <laughs> Shut <laughs> the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> okay. Uh, continuing on, we have Christron Halka Fibrax. I'm angry. The killer of tuners has been killed. It's I'm fine. Angry. Ban it. it. It's deserved to be banned. Everywhere else, no, ban it. No, ban it. It's fine. Ban. It's okay to be banned. But where the fuck is Glove Bowl? So. So. So you want Glob Bulb Glob back in a Bulb format? Is, Glob Bulb is kicked for another reason. It was banned before we got I don't held. care. Give me Glob Bulb, Because Bulb, Plant Link coward. also busted you that You cowards. Card. Give me my Glob Bulb. Shut up. Let you me nap beast. It. Or give me three to Strudo. What you the fuck? You don't get to be outraged for a dumbass reason. <laughs> I want my Destrudos in my Glob Bulb. I want to do funny combo deck. You just want to go back to 2017, you fucking mong. Yeah. So, um, where were we? Hulk. Banned every format. Um, I so I don't know if you watched <laughs> Farfa's reaction stream to this. No, I did. Uh, how he had like the pre-prepared document from like twenty twelve. Oh, no, I did. Yeah. About the reason why some tuners got hit on the ban list. Yeah. And like the exact reason they've given here is the exact reason how Fibrax was even printed in the first place was to facilitate this <laughs> card needed to be banned. Card should stay. Uh, oh, it just occurred to me that fuck striker. Yep, you can't access K Clan. <laughs> yes. Oh, Their OTK engine. That makes gone. me very happy. Doesn't matter. Mine's still there. Yep, yeah, yes, mine is a high update, baby. <laughs> well, yeah, there's other things as well. Uh, we have Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. Uh, Rift Punk. <sighs> Why did I go from one ban list where I got like Snow and Destrudo back and everything was happy to then getting all my favourite children put in the fucking dirt? Just want to let you know, he doesn't own the Punk engine. That he uses <laughs> and he's now bitching about. No, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about the chaos ruler. Sorry. Yeah, but you were mm. currently oh, yeah, the, using punk to get I, into it. Yeah, I don't remember seeing True. punk in the name of chaos ruler. Oh, someone was borrowing a snow off me. It's Seb. Yeah, don't need that back. You, you can use that for a, as long as you need that max rarity snow. You can borrow that max rarity snow, mate. Give me an ulti rest snow. Okay, it's banned. Give it to me. It would be interesting if they ever did an ulti of a card that had been actually banned already. I do legitimately think that they should do, like, special release sets that are, like... We've been saying this shit for years, but, like, it's a GOAT set. Or... They did it once, and print. it was great. <laughs> yeah, it was fantastic. That Kyber box was excellent. Yeah. yeah. They need to just do something like that. Where you print a bunch of banned cards, you can print the entire fucking ban list. And do, like, it's the... Ban list, especially. The- <laughs> Give me. You could almost do like a. It's a draft. Be like, <laughs> welcome to ban list. You could almost do like 
I remember, you remember Battle Pack? Yes. yes. Like, you can always just do that with, like... Yeah, print a Battle Pack battle of pack band, of band cards and let them be draftable. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Like, they... I feel like they could do this now more than they Put ever could because now yeah. they're doing the Time Wizard formats at YCS. True. So, like, they're asking people... They do need reprints like, for these cards. Hey, like, we've got this regionals coming up but you have to play cards from 2012 and people are like, well, where the fuck am I meant to get those? Yeah. They print Me when I was in New Zealand. I was yeah. like, I left my deck at home. How the fuck do I build this Edison deck? Yeah. Uh, and finally, on the bands, we have one of the more random cards on here. Red Reboot. Oh, Mystic One didn't get banned. Man, I hate Eldritch. <laughs> Look, this, this just sounds like a slaughter list reversed the no, anti-slaughter no, list no, 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 no. you give me Mystic Mind <laughs> you don't get Red Reboot everyone gets to play Old Lich you're really picking odd subjects to rant about I'm not gonna lie yeah you are picking some strange subjects to rant about <laughs> I'm angry did I finish I'm my angry. previous rant I don't know yeah you were talking about how Broden turned to stand if you weren't finished you are now uh, newly <laughs> limited gonna... Yeah. Blackwing steam the cloak Legitimately, the I... tuners are returning that's a good one I might have fun with that card well, I mean, it probably. Oh, that's helps. right. You play Black Wings that end in a Phantom Knight board. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there new, isn't there new Black Wing cards coming out as well? Yes. Yep. Yeah, so it's probably like. Pretty good. Yes. Imagine if they brought back Vague Shadow. Oh. Gofu? Yeah. It's kind of shit. Gofu? I mean, it'd, it'd be great if you didn't care why, about Black Wings. Why did you play Gofu? Hmm? Why did you ever play Gofu? Links. Make Deco Talker. What else did you make other than Deco Talker? Link At fighters, the time. Spiders. At the time, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Deco Talker was the be all and end all. Gofu got banned because it was a one card firewall. Yeah, dragon. firewall. And now it's not the bottle. You can make firewall dragon. <laughs> it's bad. You can, but you wouldn't. Yeah. Um, Gofu is a one card link four. That's ne- not good. Shut up, it's fine. Oh, true. Yeah, you could just make an Apple loser. <laughs> Actually, with Halk banned, it's not a one card link four. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not. Oh, it's true. Not a it's just because you can no longer through. go like Link Spider, oh, one Halk, card Summon, Link four. Is there one card curious? Because you summon wing beasts. Are they level ones? Sorry. Are they level ones? The tokens I don't know, are, yeah. But remember Gofu. You can, because you can go Link Spider into um, Anima. I don't know. Plus Gofu. Make curious. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you, it costs you three extra spots. Look. For a one card curious? Remember yeah. remember in the OCG when they had Gofu, Halk, and Summon Sork? Yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> into, into Firewall, <laughs> where it was like Gofu. Token into Link Spider into Hulk Summon make fucking Summon Sork. Summon Sork. Then you can do other shit. Yeah, it's case one it. card. Summon your Steam the Cloak from deck. We underappreciated those cards so much. Fuck we're just like, me, <laughs> Deco Talker. <laughs> so bad. Well, we never we never got. <laughs> no, we never got them all in the same format. Which I'm sad about, to be honest, because I kind of wanted I'm to not. have that fun. Those cards were for at least one month. I wanted to have the fun. No. Nah. Uh, next we have Cyberjar. Fine. Yeah, I guess. It's the, fine. Legitimately, the yeah. only issue I could see with this is they've got that bullshit prediction princess support coming up. So, getting <laughs> a random cyber jar. That's pretty funny, though. Well, well I'd rather get cyber jar than get morphing jar. True. But my, the, oh. my only concern the fuck? with <laughs> the cyber jar ban is someone in Konami R&D TCG is thinking about cyber jar. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't exist, by the way. There is no R&D. It's all a myth sense so <laughs> R&D Konami stun stands for Roger and Derek who just sort of like yeah. put pins on the board to decide what they there's plan dots and they're not good at it <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Missing Mind is, Missing Mind is literally a bullseye if you get that then you'll get banned uh, head department of Konami please don't think about cyber jars just think about literally anything else fiber jar hey Julia can you let brag into the group I think please? fiber jar got done a little while back didn't it I fiber, think fiber, fiber jar is definitely not legal Fiber jar, no, I think that's one. I think it might be. <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> quick check. Fiber jar definitely ain't legal. No. It resets no the game state. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That card's oh, yeah, definitely not legal. Yeah, yeah, it's still forbidden. Yeah. yeah. Bring it back. What was I thinking? Maybe it was Morphing Jar. Yeah. Anyway, you were moving right along. You were uh, thinking of Morphing Jar. Two. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Number two. Uh, next, we have Mecha Phantom Beast O line to one. Dang, that's crazy. Aurora on still banned? Crazy. Every card that made that good is banned. Why is it not at three? And you'll be slow because take it one step at a time. That's because you can normal summon it and make <gasps> an armorage and go full combo. The token that summons level two, isn't it? Yeah. You could oh you could normal summon O line. Price play master beast. With the volume fully on. <laughs> yeah. Um, you could normal summon O line, make an armorage, summon. We should level, probably level turn two. that down just a tad. The surround sound remotes over here. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna be quiet. 
<laughs> proceeds to not be quiet. <laughs> fuck Martha. Dude. That Dolby digital sound just comes on. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you are playing raw. Good gosh. Great he's, hand. He's yeah, playing open the dragon of raw. Anyway, moving away from that. Uh, Substitute. We talked about this. Yeah, actually, it should be fun. I reckon I can find a way to break it. Substitute for Exodia. There probably is a way. Like, I the only thing I think is it's going to be difficult with 15 cards in your extra deck. Yeah. Well, how many cards do you need for the 6 M combo? Like itself. I mean, I have to think after the 25 videos he's done on this combo. <laughs> Eight? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. And that's including the three Sayuja? That's two Sayuja. So then the third one the is nine. Third Sayuja. Plus an Emerald to shuffle them back ten. Yeah. And you got five flex spots. It's probably doable. <laughs> Can make it anyway, work. I don't know why we're doing testing. We're still, we're, we'll do we'll just video. want to make substitute. We'll work. do another video. Do Last time we did a fucking the, podcast. the great YCS hall or yeah. whatever it was. It was bingo. Bingo. <laughs> what of you here is bingo? The great YCS bingo hall. That was a good time. Spell yeah. of judgment to one. <laughs> Some of you fucking Jalgen. Jalgen set five me. pass. Let's go. Was Jalgen a level so two? Sky Striker now. Three. Three, yeah. Sky Striker now have to decide whether they want to do. Uh, well, actually, I haven't revealed that yet. We'll get to that. Later. I'm actually more interested in Runic. Runic with fucking uh, the spell books. That's uh, pretty cool. I fucking hate that. That's pretty cool, actually. The fact that those. No, anyway, I'm done. Tiagan, no, no, you two have had your rant. <laughs> <laughs> You've had too many and about terrible subjects. The fact that Runic and Mystic Mind exist in oh. the same format is the fucking worst. I mean, no, it's fine. It's the only no, way we really had the win con, right? It's fine. No. It's fine. It's not. Did you lose to Jordan tonight? No. I fucking demolished him. Then why do you exactly. care? Because the card's bad. Like, do you do you lose to every Mystic Mind player you ever play? No. It doesn't mean it shouldn't fuck off forever. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of my <laughs> That's what I fucking thought. And a pointer of the red lotus to one. What the fuck? Cards bad, play Mystic uh not Mystic Mind. Well you can play Play that. Mystic Mind! <laughs> I want people to play it. Everybody play it. Play it at three. Play it at seven. I don't care. I want it flooding the fucking deck lists of every top it already from is, here until the next ban list. I want that card dead. I simply don't think that Mystic Mind's ever gonna get no, no, I don't think that it's either. it's one of those things in Yu-Gi-Oh where if it doesn't happen now. It just ain't happening, bro. I I think you have like, to accept it. this Halka point. Halka Fibrax no. isn't coming to one. You have it's to never coming to one. You have to accept it at this point that like they must believe that Mystic Mind is the solution to heavy combo decks. Yes. That they are just like we can't fix combo decks being like busted, so we will just leave this in the game. Yep. At this point, that has to be the thought process. And that's where we are. Cards fucked. Main deck MST. Do it. I don't. I main deck Cosmic Cyclone because it's way easier. Man's going to do an Ashoka in round 7 and Miller's Cosmics. I did today. How did you feel? <laughs> Literally had one in hand out of the back row for Runic, had another one engraved out of the field spell. Boom! <coughs> Simples. No longer limited, however. Dynamite, the true Draco fighter. Was nothing semi limited on this list? Nope. There's Everything like, left semi limited. We're down to like, like three, three cards. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's like Malia Desires. Tanky. Tanky, yeah. Okay. Despite yeah. the fact that Tanky went Thank from you. 1 to 2 on the last ban list, didn't they didn't through. pull it to 3. They don't want to give Tribe a game. Yeah, they know, what's they know what's coming. Yeah, because I'm sure they... Roger and Derek were like, <laughs> Oh, we hit Ronan Toten! Yes! What if they play Tribe Brigade, though? We should probably should maybe leave Tanky at 2. You know what? I think they just legitimately didn't look at the semi-limits. They're just like, they just, it'll be fine. They put their hand halfway down the semi limit list and went, eh. To be fair, at this point, Simulimus just looks like it's going to end up being Mally, and then they move on. Yeah, Look, Mally, Mally and friends. There was a point in time, like, not too long ago, where it was just Mally, yeah. Mm. Mally was the only Simulimus card. Yeah, there was one other card with it, but, you, like, pretty much. Maybe Super Poly? Maybe? No, Poly was I, a, Poly I, no, Poly's been a 3 for 8. I feel Poly like I remember three. a time when it was just Mally. Do you remember the time where it was And when Mally got friends, it was a big deal. Do you remember the time before that where it was super long? Yes. That was a wild world. And then Mally was at three at that point, and they put Mally to two. Yeah. <laughs> Mally could go to three. Yeah, well, at this point, Mally to three. Like, who cares? Well, the reason they can't is because of the next card on our list, which is uh, Fusion Destiny. No, okay, fine. who cares? Like, what? Play three. Activate Fusion Destiny, send Mally. Okay. Three Fusion Destiny, three Mally. Go ahead. Do, do we have Celestia still? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. Master Duel now have Celestia. <laughs> do you reckon 
whoever at Konami comes up with any of this was like hitting Ronan Toad is just like putting Celestial to one. We need to do it. Uh, Celestial Band. We need to do it. <laughs> I, I can't fucking believe they hit I that. <laughs> so You've already had that time. Back. Moving on. <laughs> Next is Cyber Angel Ben 10 to 3. Fuck this. I don't want to play against Drytron. Ben has to learn about Drytron. No, they don't. You just wait for them to do their Mate, four. I've gotten past with three Ben 10 before. I'll get by with three Ben 10 now. This is how you do it. I ain't you reading go. it. Hey, Unless man. I play it, I ain't reading it. This is how you go. Hey, man, have you used all different names? All right, cool. Now I'm going to Nibiru. <laughs> Good game? Good game. Okay, thank you. Yeah, did you? After I missed one. Yeah, cra- that token's now massive. Yeah. Crash the Nibiru into the token. <laughs> I've taken about five thousand damage, but you can't <laughs> do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, shooting Riser Dragon back to three. Why it was ever one? Nobody knows. <laughs> it, was a, says it was a problem turn. card. It was a problem card. It says once per turn. Yeah, that's a problem card. The only problem is that it was on the list at all. Now you gotta watch out. You gotta summon shooting Riser. You gotta send something. Then you gotta make another shooting Riser. Are you gonna send snow? Yeah. Imagine this is their logic. The fact that Snow's banned, they can bring Shooting Rider back to three. Yeah, we're banned, we're banned Snow, guys. <laughs> what is that voice? Rise Just... to three. Why did they ban... <laughs> Why didn't they ban Curious? <laughs> what is that voice? It's Roger and Derek. Why can't they... <laughs> Why can't they ban Curious and leave Snow alone? Honestly, when I saw Snow was banned, I was like, oh, okay, we'll get Grass oh back. Oh my god, we've been through this. I was like, Shut up. we'll get Grass back. We'll get... I'll see you, no. like, limited. Grass will be there, it'll be okay. It wasn't okay. You're on crack, right? <laughs> <laughs> it was 3 a.m. in the morning, and I don't wake up that early ever. We're literally about to get one of the best like mill engines that the deck is that the, the game has ever seen, and you're like, "No, nah, I want this one." I think yeah. you can mill your entire deck off a hand trap next format. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, you can you, be, you can be like, activate orange light. Yeah, but that spell card flip. Funny. <laughs> but that spell card be funny. It's not. I like it's it. It's not funny. It's funny. You... Uh, anyway. I'm not going down this rabbit hole. Who was the guy that we signed a Yu-Gi-Oh card for at Oceanic? Jesse. Yeah. Good, Christy Millions podcast. Good guy, Jesse. Moving on. This, this is the ban list discussion he wanted. He wanted me to talk about grass. He did, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Tick the box. Uh, Nadir Servant to three. Why are you encouraging this? Again. Don't know why I did two. No, it went to two I for legitimate sense. reasons. It made sense to be a two for a for It a did time. make sense for it to go to two. I was impressed it never went to one. But could they? Yeah. Could you play like an Indian servant, like dogmatic engine, like spellbook with judgment, and then like yes, yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's that pretty is good. Pretty much what everyone left to, other than runic shit. I can't believe it. you didn't leap to runic shit. You rock. Well, you were, you went to sky striker shit, so yeah, because I fucking hate sky striker and I don't want them to have anything. Fair enough. Uh, Trickstar life stage to three. Uh, speaking of pedophiles. Um, I don't like this Two's the correct three. ratio if you're using it as an engine. Two. Trickstar, full power. I don't like it. Draw reincarnation, people. Be- stay toxic, oh, kings. If I have to get back <laughs> into that, you get a draw I reincarnation, I myself. Stay toxic, kings. Oh. They also have Korriban now. Yeah. I don't give a shit about Korriban. They didn't have Korriban when they had full combat, didn't they? What happens when they, like, draw reincarnation in your whole um, tier element hand? The same thing that happened when they draw reincarnated every other deck I played, the Metaphys. I fucking lose. What What's the point of that? Where, where are we going with that? Just good to know. I'm going I'm to go back to 2018. You can be a pedophile if you like. Uh, and Wall of Revealing Light to 3. Again, makes zero difference to anything. I want to discuss why you're throwing pedophile out quite a lot recently. Because uh, the word, because <laughs> the word Trickstar and Light, uh, Trickstar and Sky Striker were mentioned. He's stumbling so over his like words. He's to. terrified. But you mentioned Sky Striker, Jay. You also said Trickstar first. Because <laughs> it's on the fucking list. I'm a, you know what else is on the list? I'm gonna stay over here. Pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, without ranting about the same things you've already ranted about, what are the, what are our thoughts on this list? I think it's one of the worst fucking ban lists we've ever had. It's pretty, I, pretty I think shit. the three card ban list of three cards moving to three was a better ban list than this list. It's pretty awful. <laughs> it doesn't achieve anything. It fucks over Sprite, which, as you said, it, isn't the highest represented deck, nor is it the best performing. So why simply killing off an engine for it? It's just uncalled for. This list just cleared the way for Tyrellman. Which it didn't need to be. So it honestly did not need to be. When you look at like, I know, looking at the OCG, 
fundamentally is wrong to do at all, all the time. When you look at the way Sprite pivots, however, in the t in the OCG, that doesn't exist here. It, whatever we come up with for Sprite now has to be a complete new thing. Whether it's you play more level 2 extenders so that you still have the Swap Frog on board when you're making the Link 2 to summon back your other Swap Frog, that's the only way you're still making Toad in this list. I think that is what it's so, going to be now. So you're going to have out. to play level 2 extenders. People have started figuring out like one type combos already with like Nimble Beaver and Angler, but it's like, yeah. it is so easy to break that now. Yes. Um, it, it loses harder to hand traps. Yeah. Um, Deep Sea Diva combo doesn't work no more. Diva is now the end Diva of the play. You can only use Diva with an extender to get to the swap, the swap combo. Yes. Like, you um, need the extender. I was told... On, I think it is now, like, three card combos if yeah. you want to do the full combo. I was told that I had to be respectful in a judge's community about this ban list. So I think it is an okay ban list that will be meta-defining. Not for a good way, <laughs> but because Sprite is useless now, so tier element will be tier zero. And when we get the Shizu in, like, a month, man, what like, what deck will be it except for Mystic Mind? There isn't any. Wait, I, that, now, that, now that we've finished kind of discussing it, I think it is true in the fact that Mystic Mind had to stay. Probably. For oh, for what was done on the ban list and, and what it does for Terrellement, Mystic Mind had to stay. It's just yeah. You know, I get. I am actually a little bit angry at this ban list because like I love Dragon hasn't Link. Been demonstrated so far. I like Dragon Link, and I think Dragon Link had a good spot in the meta at this point where it was like not one of the top decks but we're still performing at a place where like it could compete this ban list did more damage to decks that were trying to compete than it did for the deck at the top than the deck like even the top like it hurt one of the top two decks yeah but it hurt <laughs> almost every deck below it yes. like Bisted Thunder Dragons can't really do much when they come out now because the Chaos Wheel is banned and Hack banned and all that someone bought a, a Chaos Thingy off the syndicate today. Today, yeah. I'm assuming uh, a guy. Maybe? Not, no, no, not, not the Chaotic Dragon. The oh wait, what? Oh, the one that's like this. Um, Chaos um, Creator. Yeah, someone bought oh Chaos Creator. So that okay. could be a hot hot tech. I don't know. It's off like thirty five bucks. So yeah, we take that. Yeah, I need to send that. But it's just yeah, I don't like I don't like the list. I like lists that help bring decks up. Like, I want to see formats where there's six or seven decks that are highly playable, even if there's a few decks from the past competing. This is going to be a very boring format. So, given the ban list that we got, I think we were better off not getting a list till Christmas. <laughs> With the list we got, we were better off just not getting a list till Christmas. It would be fine if they addressed any of the actual problems in the format, yeah. but they have not. They addressed snow, and that it's was it. The, the weird thing is, though, it's like, your logic for not hitting to element properly is <coughs> also the argument you should have been giving for the reason you hit, didn't hit Sprite properly. Instead, you hit Sprite properly. So you can't then flip onto the other side and be like, well, to element, we need to do a, a hit to that. It just felt like, if you look at this list, you would go, they hit old cards. It, it was like it looks like a list that they go hey we don't want you playing with the old stuff play with new cards except the new cards don't work the new cards don't work well one does yeah tear does but they've gone and gone well, yeah tear doesn't need uh, snow so why does they need Ronan well because they're completely different decks anyway that's where we're at it's not good and uh, yet again this uh, list will be in effect for a few months a few months from now. If we have a... We're going to probably have a YCS under this ban list. If yeah. we get one. More than likely. We will have... This will be our YCS ban list. Yes. I mean, like, if we get a YCS. And we will likely be going into that YCS getting the ban list for the weekend after. Like we have in the past. What a world. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Actually, was it, it was like the day of the second YCS or the day after that we got the ban list, right? The we 2019 got it destruction on day list. two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I remember it was only like the the day of, if not like the day before, that they announced um, Mech Knight Orchest. Yes, because yeah. they announced yeah they announced Yisu 
on the first day and then the band list dropped on the second day. I had day. like a good 24 hours of solid happiness because I was like, I can do both. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, no. that, that got announced and everyone there was like, this shit's getting banned. Like, <sighs> this can't exist. Bring Everyone's losing their mind on the way on day two to go in. Half did nothing wrong. Yeah, that's that's the ban list. One of the worst ban lists in the history of a year. So, we Could talked a lot about stuff that uh, should have been banned that wasn't, but is there yeah. anything that should have come off the list, do you reckon? I don't, I don't think it's relevant. <coughs> what cards like, come off they, the list? They brought a lot of cards off the ban list. Like, I... I'm willing to say more cards come off this ban list than went onto it. Even if we're ignoring the cards that went from two to three, more cards come off the forbidden limited list than went on. I th- I think I'm correct in saying that. It is good that in the last <laughs> few of these uh, sort of ban lists, they've been brave enough to be like, "Oh, we'll give this a go. This can come back." Except Except that, they, I don't think week. that's what this is. This is a bunch of stuff that the reason that these cards are banned have been banned, so they're just like. I guess yeah. this is filler for this ban list. Just like you say, what cards should have come back? And I come back to like the cards that should have come back. The cards that should have come back are the cards that bring other decks up to par. So honestly, Half Horror probably should have come back. Colossus probably should have come back. Like decks that cards that build. I think Half Horror should have come back. Colossus should have come back. I, I think Colossus Colossus can is come too back. problematic of a card, and it gets worse. It does get worse. Like, I agree. We get where I get more support makes that card even more broken. Uh, that's why I think you almost bring it back. Like you bring it back for the format. You can you also buy yeah, out just just bring it back so that you can make it a sprite. Exactly. Like yes, they don't activate in hand. You just play other cards that activate in hand. Play yeah. three Thunder Dragon. Then on your board. That sounds fucking awful. Just play the um, Nemesis guy. Because there was already a Nemesis build. No, you just play Thunder Dragon Dark. It's fine. But you can just play with the Nemesis Thunder. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sprite's bad. Yeah, look, it's not going to be fun, this upcoming format. It's just the same format, except worse. It's sad that we have regionals coming back in this format. I might pick up Therian. Okay. Really? Why? Because it didn't get hit, did it? There are people testing Tier Element Therian at the moment. Maybe Therian Sprite might be the way to go. Yeah, could be a way. You just need to find a way to put a negation on that board. I Maybe think too. Adventure Sprite is the way you play the deck now. Yeah, you kind of have to. Yeah, you just kind of... I don't know if you abandon the Toad Package. I think you play Adventure Sprite and try and... Do you just go second? Huh? Because, like, if you... If you go Adventure, you have no way to get to, like... Uh, I don't know. No, you just play... You play Adventure Sprite. If you open enough extenders, you can still end on the Toad. Like, it, you just n- can no longer go, uh, car, like, elf toad IP. You, you can't even, like, uh, you IP can't even, like, sarf combo anymore. anymore. You can't even sarf combo. Oh, I didn't finish that point earlier, by the way. Uh, in the, t- in the OCG, yeah, they, like, rotated into Union Carrier. Yeah, you can't do and that. And Buster Locking doesn't exist here. You can't Buster Lock, you can't sarf combo, because you can't pop it. Yep. You can't have the Hulk no more. What a cool card to be alive. That deck's just dead. Probably. Uh, it, you probably it, play the Tribe Brigade build, to be honest, or the, the Life Twin build. Were well, they both bad? The, yeah. Well, the Life Twin one hasn't lost <coughs> anything. Sure. sure I think like, Tribe Brigade has either. Tribe Brigade's probably better. Tribe Brigade ends on different stuff, though. You don't have any Omni Negates. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Playing against Kyra, playing that tonight, like, at no point against Tri Zoo, uh, against Tri Sprite, I was like, I'm in trouble. I was always just like, I'm going to activate Mystic Mind. Could you not end on, like, an Elf <laughs> plus an IP? <laughs> And then, oh, you can't omni okay, that, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing yeah, you can do in that against. field to set up a negate. Yep. You must now choose between IP or Toad. You do not get both. It sounds like it's turning into kind of what PK is, is, where it's like, you can make a good board yeah. of monster negates, but no omni negates. Jake, we've been doing a lot of theory crafting here. What's next yes. on today's uh, podcast? Well, the, uh, the ban list has taken up a lot of our news, so we move on to our Discord. Uh, if yeah, we did weren't this. yes we do <laughs> oh um, wait before we get into this uh, I'm gonna ask a random curious thing I've never asked before on this podcast I wanna see your fan art of what who are the fucking guys from R&D who is R&D who's team R&D uh, Roger and Derek Roger, Roger and, Derek. and Derek I wanna see your Roger and Derek <laughs> fan art 
Okay? Just leave it in the Discord. I want to see your Roger and Derek fan art. Dear God, do not show erotica or anything <laughs> bad. I don't know how to blur, and I'm going to put them on next week's podcast, okay? Are you, like, no matter what they are? No matter what they are, I'm going to put oh them on next God, week's podcast. Dangerous. As long as it, it can be put up on YouTube, I'm putting it up. Just okay? have, like, a green screen in the background. Just loops behind oh, us. Fucking, uh, we'll figure it out. I'll pop it, like, here next week on the podcast. Pop it over, Jake. I want to see your Roger and Derek fan art. You're making a lot of comments for someone who's not going to be on the next pod. Oh, watch it. <laughs> You don't know what's going to happen in this world. <laughs> I know exactly what's happening. Anyway. <laughs> Man, just out of the you... God. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> if you weren't aware, Jesus. we do... <laughs> <laughs> I am in love with Jesus. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. First question this week comes from 6 Scythe 6 uh, his question is, what is the best type of deck you use to introduce a new player to Yu-Gi-Oh? I think now it's Flanderies. Gross. Put Not your true. hat back on. No. The, the band is done. The answer is Mystic Mind. The band is done. No, please don't. Um, it needs to be something simple enough that they can grasp it pretty quickly, but it also needs to teach them the fundamentals of the game. Um, Flanderies is not a terrible <coughs> one, although everyone will hate them. Uh, Sword Soul... Also, I don't think it's a bad shout. Now, it's not nearly as expensive. It's pretty linear, and it can set up a decent board. Um, not a difficult deck to get your head around. Phantom no. Knight? I think it teaches you a lot nah, of interaction and stuff. It's too complicated. It's I don't know if it is. To Managing up... graveyard resources, it's a my bunch. Sure, but I think like, like it teaches you almost every single different thing that you need to understand. You synchro summon them? Yeah, you can. Some of us do. Not the good ones, but you know. <laughs> Uh, mm. Mr. is bad in PK. Play in tier But then you target a level 3, make it a level 4, <laughs> somehow make it a warrior, overlay them into Ronga Midiad, make your Gossip Shadow. <laughs> you don't need it. You can already do that by like bringing back the two. Oh, no, 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 no. Destrudo's the key. Do I just play Crack Flunder now? I mean, you could. Oh, probably. They didn't ban Feather Storm. Crack Flunder. Oh, yeah, that's another fucking card that should have been in the bin ages ago. But anyway. Crack Flunder. Ready to go. I don't want to fucking deal um. with Flunder at local. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Seb. Anyway, um, um, well, historically, what have we used? We've always said like Eldritch is a good one, no, like, but again, I'm everyone talking will like hate pre-COVID. You. Oh, pre-COVID. We need to have new people. Is it Cyber Dragon? <laughs> Cyber Dragon. Um, again, people will hate them. Dinos. Dino. Yeah, Dino was. A good Dino one. is so brain dead. You could play. You could give a toddler Dino, and they'll go right. Um. Again, it falls in the bracket of people won't like you. Invoked. People won't like you if you play Invoked. That is 100% true. No, I'll, they're fine now. I don't play the deck for a year and then it's fine. <laughs> watch, out, watch out the moment you bring it back. People can be like, this fucking guy. I have no need to bring it back. There's like two more compelling fusion decks that I'd play before I go back to Invoked. Jake's in remission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really proud of him. You're going fast, you're too. Anyway. Uh, so, next question. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here that aren't questions. Um, <coughs> next question. We're going to sneeze. Sure. Ah, here we go. Crowbat 5 comes to us with two questions this week. Crowbat 5? Crowbat 5. Crowbat <laughs> uh, His first question. Which is the better card for banishing your opponent's cards? D-Shifter, Dark Lore, Macro Cosmos... Banisher of the Light or Radiance. Is it Banisher of the Radiance? Or? Banisher of the Radiance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, or FA Hang On Mock. It's, it's, it's not the last one. Uh, <laughs> D-Shifter, because you can use it on your opponent's yeah. turn before you're, you're playing. Yeah. Assuming you can like you can play any of these in your deck per lane and doesn't impact you, D-Shifter, D-shifter by a flipping mile, man. Yeah. yeah the, there's drawbacks to both. Like D-Shifter has that off-turn interaction, but you have to open a turn one. So, so like, if you don't open these what is others, the, what they is don't the work best, either. What is the best one? Like, you're assuming best you, for best If you're scenario, guaranteed to draw, draw one mile. of these, you want D-Shifter in the end. Yeah. I reckon going first macro. Because it saves up the whole game. It can be added. But, like, if you're playing Flunder, right, you'd rather D-Shift over macro. What? Then, yeah, it should be. Yeah. Well, this is, was, this is something I was thinking of a little while back as well. Is like, And it comes back to that argument of, like, anti-spell v um, a pointer. Is that a point of spot removal, you have to respond to it there and then to be able to interact with it at all. Yeah. Whereas anti-spell <coughs> is a lingering effect, mm. but 
it is removable. Not yes. so much in um, the like Toad Splite build because they just negate when you yeah, try yeah. to get rid of it. Um, Protect. Protecty tech. Um, the yeah, is still D shifter. Yeah, D shift is great for off turn interaction, but then I think like Macro Cosmos, Dark Law is a really strong one as well if you have the capacity to summon it. Like, yeah. and, and and like it always comes down to like the floodgates on legs are always kind of busted. That's Can why Colossus one? is on the fucking ban list. Yeah, but I think like D shifter alone, you don't need to protect, right? Like, yeah, you can skip. You just go D shifter. They and have the core boy. Okay. If you're going second, that card like that's madness. Yeah. It's it's the fact that you can use it before you've actually had a chance to play the game. Yeah. Good one. Next question. Second question from Crowbat Five. If Konami was to release some tune reprints slash new support in a new set, which is probably about a year and a half away from actually happening, um, no, would it sell out like Tune Chaos did? Uh, yes. I thought he was going to ask what we want Toon Support to do. I thought about this the other day. Wait, did I mention that on the podcast and that's why this question's come up? I ignored the rest of the question. I, I thought that was the question he asked. What was the actual question? <laughs> do you think it would sell out like Toon Chaos? Yes. Yeah, well, probably. Well, the biggest factors with Toon Chaos selling out is one, it was the very first set that we had with Collector's Rares yep. and everyone was like, holy yep. shit, this is big. There was really good Chaos support in it and yep. like... Dragon Link was like yep. a thing that was emergent. You gotta finish your point so I can tell you you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Um, and COVID supplies were like a big issue as well. So people being able to get any product at all was a big thing. I'm honestly impressed you didn't say because it's got like old high rarity reprints and that's the reason the set was expensive and sold out. Because uh, that's wrong. Uh, if you actually like look at the graphs... You're surprised and... I wasn't wrong. <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> that's a regular if, thing. If you look at graphs and charts for sales data <laughs> related to Toon Chaos... Sealed product's expensive. Naturally, it's expensive because it's sold out. And typically, even like bad sets nowadays sell out. Mm -hmm. Like, if you walk into my shop right now, I ain't got no product. Where product? No product. No product. Where, Where product? Got product. product gone. All my booster packs are gone. I, I've sold even the garbage is gone. People are like, I just want to open Yu-Gi-Oh product. It's like, okay, here you go. I've never seen you before in my life. Here you go. <laughs> That's no stress. Um, where was I going with this? Yeah. So all of... When you look at the data for individual card sales... All of that, like, high rarity, oh my god, this is in Toon Chaos stuff, is going down. All of the Toon stuff is going up a lot. And that's always been the case with Toon stuff. Mm. The high rarity Toon stuff just always holds value. It's just gone up a ton. Whereas everything else in that set is coming down, the Toon stuff going up. So, yeah. Toon's drive set. Do we know how many people collect Toons? I, 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 I don't think there's that many. How, wh where are they? Where well, are it's at least one in five. Yeah, at least one in five. At least. At least. I can, in fact, count the number of people in the room, and I didn't have to do... <laughs> Man, I'm counting the microphone right now. Thinking... Yeah. I'm sorry, just thinking on activation. Yeah. So, five. apologies to our um, non-audio listeners the for audio the Audio listeners are going to miss out on this sight gag. <laughs> <laughs> As they always just do. Just like back in the day. It's been a long time since I've said that. Yeah, psych gags. Can't wait for been mentioned. the audio listeners to not get that psych gag. <laughs> uh, Just come over to YouTube and subscribe and you'll see. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff in here that is in questions. Uh, next question is uh, from uh, Womp3. Welcome. Uh, oh, Wompa? Yeah. Wompa3? That's an R. Cool. Okay. Uh, what is everyone's opinion on Mystic Mind being banned? I'm confused <laughs> why people want it um, to be banned. I know it isn't fun to play against, but I feel like it has tons of counterplay. Now my hat can come back on. <laughs> didn't need to be banned. No. We've, we've established on this podcast, with the balance we have, didn't need to be banned. Besides, just play MST. Play your out. <laughs> play the out. Play the out, Jack. No, um, no, there's you, a wordy response out, from Jesse. If you can't out Mystic Mind, okay. That's on you. Yeah if, yeah, if you can't have Mystic Mine, fuck you, you're playing Tyr Element. <laughs> but also, like, legitimately, <laughs> right now, I think in the next format, you're playing Mystic Mine or you're playing Tyr Element. So, if you can't have the Mystic Mine, hey, fuck Myst you, you're playing Tyr Element. But why would you come to a big event to play Mystic Mine? Why don't would you, you come to a big event? Don't you come to have fun? <laughs> no. Anyway, so, the, the thing that I find really funny about this is that you own Tyr Element and you own Tyr Element. But you're both getting really angry about Tyr Element no. not getting hit. I really appreciated the way you said that. I own Tyr Element. He owns Tyr Element. <laughs> so I own everything. He owns Tyr Element cards and has borrowed the rest of it off everyone else. 
So now, that's also probably the reason why I'm so mad about this ban list, is I would feel guilty now, because he's got regionals to play, I have regionals to play, but I know he can only play Trellman at these regionals, so I can't turn around and be like, I'm going to need all those cards back. Yeah, do it. Take them. No. Because you, you, you can play Trellman at the regionals, I'll play fucking something else. I don't give two fucks. Well, you already have your invite, apparently, so yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Lowbridge says I'm invite. In, Lowbridge, I need to message you and figure out where that is said. But, yeah. You can use um, my tier. No, he wants, like, the danger. It's, like, the danger package and all that shit. Because I have tier, but he's borrowing all that stuff. Anyway, that's that was I'll my just play Runic. Point. Jesse had a long extended response. He did. It's quite wordy. Oh, I don't, that, that, yeah. I did look. Not today. Jesse, I am Holy crap. <laughs> we'll read it amongst us. It's an essay, bro. It, it, is, it is quite an essay. I did read it before. It, it makes a good point. <laughs> we'll post a video of just, like, speech, like, text to speech. I ain't doing that. Of this. I ain't doing that. Well, uh, do you not care about our viewers? Lachlan will read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with all the other questions he's read. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the message in the group chat about that one. <laughs> Do you reckon he stayed this long? <laughs> um, that concludes us for questions. Um, it does. Yeah, there's not. It's um, it's a bit of a, a miserable podcast day, unfortunately. This is a miserable podcast. Yeah, I'm sad. We should have all worn black. I do. Yeah. You know why we're wearing black? It's because we're sad about the ban list, and Jake's sitting here like, fuck you guys. Jake is wearing white and cream. Like, he's kind of got that. Jake's sitting here like, he, I just don't get to play a snow anymore? <laughs> I don't give two shits. Fuck you, you mystic mind me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will conclude us for tonight. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next three months of um, either milling things or sitting under mine. And that's we'll... it that's what you're doing <laughs> that's that's it. the format that's the next solved. three months enjoy we solve the format <laughs> thanks don't the mic we still gotta finish the podcast <laughs> hey that was it he's like goodbye this is why you don't get invited on you mess with the equipment it's already sensitive you're already you're stealing all his shit <sighs> good night bye